Hopefully by now you've familiarized yourself with the expanded algorithm of multiplication. If you haven't, I strongly suggest you check out my other video on that before we get into the standard algorithm. For today, we're gonna to be looking at the standard algorithm of double digit times double digit multiplication. When we get into the standard algorithm, the biggest area that students have trouble with is where to start and what they're multiplying by what. So I like to set up a pattern and follow that pattern for every time I do double digit times double digit multiplication. My pattern starts out in the bottom right corner. I use the bottom right corner to begin multiplying my way through and then slowly work my way over. So we're gonna start off with our six and we're gonna be multiplying that by all of 34. So first we'll multiply it by four and then we'll multiply it by three. Once we're done with that, we've finished our six and we can move on to our 20. We'll then multiply our 20 by our four and our 20 by our 30 and you get our two partial products that we can then add up to complete this. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, like I said, I'm gonna start with my six times four. Six times four is gonna give me 24. So I'm gonna write my 20 up here, carry my two, and then my four comes down here. Now I'm done with my ones, so I'm gonna move on to six times three. Six times three is gonna give me 18, plus two is gonna give me 20. If I write those numbers out, all my place value positions will fit perfectly, and you can see that six, times 34 is gonna give me 204. I'm done with my six now, I'm ready to move on. I just wanna get rid of this because I've already used it. Now we need to do 20. We're gonna be multiplying 20 by 34. A little shortcut that I like to use is by placing my zero here. By putting my place value position in there, it allows me to look at this instead of as a 20, as a two. And I can simply multiply two times four and two times three to get my final answer. So let's do that now. Two times four is gonna give me eight. Two times three gives me six. These are my two partial products. I add them up, four, eight, and eight, and I get my final product, which is 884. This is the standard algorithm for double digit times double digit multiplication. Let's take a look at another example of double digit times double digit multiplication using the standard algorithm. Again, I'm gonna follow my pattern of starting in the bottom right corner. You can also start in the top right corner. I like the bottom right and work my way through. So I'm gonna start with my five and I know I need to multiply this by all of 47. So let's start by doing five times seven is gonna give me 30, carry the tens, five, write the ones in my answer. 35. Next up, I'm going to do 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 that I carried from before. It's going to give me 23. So 5 times 47 is 235. I cross out my 3 because I'm done using that. I'm also done with my 5. I've multiplied it all the way through. So now I move on to my 90. Knowing that the value of this is a 90, I know anything I multiply is going to get me a 0 in my ones place. 90 times seven is going to get me a number higher than 10. So I place the one there and that allows me to look at this as a nine instead of a 90. Nine times seven is gonna give me 63. Carry my six. Nine times four is gonna give me 36. Plus the six up there will give me 40. Two. I have my two partial products. I add them together. Five, six, four, and four for a total of 4,465. This is another example of how to use the standard algorithm for double digit times double digit multiplication.